Let's take a test right now. Let's go down. Joe and I will take a test. Let him take the same test that I took. Incidentally, I took the test too when I heard that you passed it. Yeah, how did it's you not do the it? Well, it's not the hardest test. No, but the it last. It has a picture and it says, last, what's that? And it's an elephant. No, no, no. You see, that's all misrepresentation. Well, that's what it was on the web. It's all misrepresentation. Because, yes, the first few questions are easy. But I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard, the last five well, questions. Well, one of them was count back from 100 by 7. And let me tell you. You couldn't answer. You couldn't answer. All right, what's the question? Many of the questions. I'd get you the test. I'd like to give it. But right. I guarantee you that Joe Biden could not answer those questions. Okay. okay? Uh, and I answered all 35 questions correctly. first place. I think it's a really sad state in our politics where we have so many who are willing to say that the two presidential candidates, such a significant minority saying, or majority saying, that they believe that they're mentally unfit. 45% uh, say that Trump is mentally fit. So 55% majority say that he's unfit. 44% say that Biden is unfit mentally to be president. And we've become so tribal in our politics that we're not able to just see people as um, having different ideas about policy, but that their judgment is so lacking that there must be something mentally wrong with them. So I think that's the first thing that strikes me when I look at this data. Of course, they are also 70 years old. We have two people who are over 70 years old who are running for office, uh, but it's actually their physical fitness that people are most likely to say uh, is there. So we have 56% who say, yes, Trump is physically fit. He proves this all the time when he goes golfing. And Biden, yes, 60% say, yes, he's physically fit. So it's actually the mental fitness where they actually are uh, slightly weaker. And again, that I think goes back to this uh, idea about judgment that we have. Every uh, presidential election, there's always a question of doctor's reports. If you remember, there was the doctor doctor report uh, with Trump in the last election. Um, that obviously he was very sensitive to it because uh, uh, he didn't do just a straightforward, uh, here, here is my health report. Um, I, the same happened, quite frankly, after he'd been in office for a year and the health report's coming out. Um, so I think that has kind of driven it some. I think the other is that, and we've, we've talked about this in the past very often, that you know, you have the Trump base of 34, 35%. Then you have another 12% that are mainly Republicans. Um, don't like his persona, but like his person, like his, his policies. Um, and that's when he gets up into the mid 40s. And then there's another group of independents um, that feel the same way, but they put a priority not on policy, like the Republicans, they put a priority on personality. And so what we've had in the last three or four months is a period of time when Trump, uh, Trump's whole uh, focus or the voters, what they're seeing of Trump is on the personality side, all through the virus, all through the racial injustice issue. Um, and so that has somewhat not only played into the, uh, the health issue, um, the, and hit them saying the personality part of that, but has played into the mental health part of it. Um, now, I think uh, the other is that um, they had begun this kind of drumbeat, if you will, on questioning uh, whether Biden was too old. Was he showing signs of dementia? Um, and, and, and I think the wall that they hit on that is that while Biden may, um, you know, first of all, he, he is a little bit older. He's in his late 70s. 
Um, he has senior moments. I have senior moments where you forget names or you forget a particular point you're trying to make. Um, but when we got into the social justice stuff, uh, the, you know, the one thing Biden's not going to forget is how to be a nice guy and how to care about other people. And so what you saw was he would talk about the social justice part of this issue, and he didn't miss a beat. And so that put that much more pressure on the Trump campaign on what they were trying to say about Biden as a key difference between the two. Um, and uh, I think they began running into problems with it. That is all targeted at this issue for the Trump campaign, is all targeted at um, the soft Republicans, the, the ones that have a problem with his character, but they like his policy, because what they do want to do is get in a position where you get those Republicans questioning Biden's age, questioning whether he is going into dementia uh, or has signs of dementia, and then qu questioning his policies. And it's kind of a one-two punch that they're right now focusing on the one punch. <laughs>